All right, listen to the Sam Sykes show. We're on, dude. Hey. We're live. <laughs> All right, so uh, I'm gonna do an intro real quick. I feel like I'm coming in a little echoey. Let's adjust that. All right, so. All right, so you listen to the Sam Sykes show. You're listening on SoundCloud, Spotify, iHeartRadio. YouTube is up and going. I feel like I'm already fed up with that. That took so long to get it on. YouTube? So yeah, it was kind of annoying to do. So I'm already fed up with it, but <laughs> <laughs> we'll figure it out. Um, Gmail is the Sam Sykes show at gmail.com. I haven't checked it. So if you like send stuff in or whatever, I'm not gonna be talking about it or anything like that. Um, let's see. And our Instagram, the Sam Sykes show. Uh, that's just, I think it's all together. I don't know, I didn't set any of this stuff up. My producer set it up. Dance. So I didn't. I just plug it. Yeah. But <laughs> but the good news is for everybody listening <laughs> that has had to hear me struggle through all this, I actually wrote it down this week. So now I have everything in order. It's not me going. Oh, what do we? Uh, What's my and name? The oh. like I didn't remember we had iHeartRadio. It's the biggest one. It's yeah. like one of the biggest ones that I forgot we had. So <laughs> it's all written down now. Um, I have a guest today. If you couldn't hear, um, David Emery. He's a photographer, so uh, if you want to check out his Instagram account, it's D DME Captures. That's on Instagram, correct? Yeah. All right, and then your personal Instagram, I think it's basically the same. I, I would say it's still photography. Yeah, it's not. Yeah. What and photographer posts shitty pictures of himself on his personal account? <laughs> <laughs> you know, right. Right? So uh, you guys can check that out. Um, he's a photographer for hire, I would say, um, but DM you, basically. Send him a DM if you want to take pictures, weddings, all right, stuff like that. Fun funerals? Yeah. yeah, bleak affairs. Yeah, um, <laughs> mitzvahs. Yeah. Okay. Cool. All right. Um, but I'll see let's what see. I can do. Yeah, we'll see. What's the weirdest thing you'd go shoot? Oh my gosh! For all um, the all the freaks that listen to this fucking show. Honestly, the weirdest thing that is, and multiple people have asked me, they want me to take um, pictures of them naked in their bathtub um, for like maternity shoots. Oh, that's oh well, that's that's not as bad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's this, just, I thought you meant it was like some like dude that he's like, yo, come over and take pictures of me. Uh, that's, I mean, he's in a clear bathtub. No, <laughs> like, no, I mean, not not hating on you know maternity shoots, but mm -hmm. you know, um, I'm just like, eh, no, no, <laughs> no. Uh, I, I thought know, I don't know how to go about like, it. Like, hey, I have like a bunch of guys over. Just come over, take pictures of our feet. Right. <laughs> <It'll be fine>. <laughs> <laughs> I think but, that's the weirdest request I've gotten. Oh, okay, that's not that bad. No. I thought you'd be getting, like, guys that were like, hey, come over and shoot me. Um, I'll just be, my ass is just going to be right towards, just open the door, take some pictures. I'll be, you know. Blocked. No. <laughs> Blocked. Nothing like that? No. Nope. What would be the weirdest thing that you would agree to shoot? Um, like, a maternity shoot, how much, I don't understand photography, like, I don't know the pricing or whatever. What would a maternity shoot cost? Um, they would, you know, that's a good question. Um, definitely less than a wedding, but I would, I don't usually charge. Um, I try to do it for free and if they want to tip me, you know, um, I'll, I'll accept it. Idea. Yeah. I mean, cause I, I do it cause it's a hobby and I love it. I don't want to get into the whole, like, you know, oh, yeah. Pay me. And they're also like, they're like, did you hear about the wedding photographer in Colorado? I actually forgot to. I was going to put this in the show. I forgot to. You just reminded me. Did you hear about this? No. This is crazy. This guy who's going to get married, his um, fiance gets killed. Car accident. Yeah. They had an $1,800 deposit at a, like a wedding photography joint, whatever. They were, or like refused, they were refusing to give the money back. They created a website like against the guy. They were being like crazy. And the guy's like, I, I mean like my fiance died. Like, Give me the mo you know what I mean? Like that's ins there was no wedding, right? And like show some courtesy. I was gonna shit talk them, but I forget what the name of the place is. I'll do it next week. Next week I'm gonna look it up because I was actually gonna shit talk. You have to look that up. That's because that's I, kind of terrible. Yeah, it was fucking. <laughs> oh, and they said, um, oh well, how's this sound? Like your next wedding, this is like on us. Can you imagine? You're engaged, right? Yeah. Your fiance, God forbid, you know, not, you know, whatever dies, and then they say, oh, don't worry, like the next one. Yeah, the next one. Oh. No, dude. Sorry, I don't agree with that. Crazy, right? <laughs> that's insane. So that's cool. You do it for uh, you do it for free because you like it. Yeah, I I love it. You that's know? awesome, man. I, I there was a time where I tried to get into the business side of things, and then I just ended up really like unhappy. Yeah. Um, so I was just like, let me take a a break, and come back to it, mm -hmm. and I do it because I love it. It's a hobby. I can do it when I want. 
Um, yeah, I don't have to. It's not like you're meeting deadlines. Yeah. Like, it's like, hey, I'm waiting on those wedding photos. Yeah, dude, it's fucking free. Relax. Yeah. And then, <laughs> it's like, you, well, you get them. You get them. And then they tell you, like, you know, oh, are you um, a wedding photographer? Or do you shoot landscape? Do you shoot portraits? Do you, I'm, I, I do whatever you I... You get to do what you want. Yeah, whatever pleases my eye. Like, oh, there's a rock over there that, you know, looks cool. I'm going to take a picture of it. And if there's a bunch of people over there that want, like, portraits, I'm going to... Take pictures of them. Yeah. Fuck it. That's awesome, man. Yeah, so, like, that's another thing I hate about the business side of photography. It's, like, mm-hmm. there, you have to have a certain, like, niche, yeah. I guess. That's and, the thing, like, um, I think everything is kind of, like, with this, like, mm-hmm. doing even, like, a podcast, that kind of stuff. There is the business side to it where, like, shit just sucks sometimes mm-hmm. when you're doing the business side because you have to, advertisers will get pissed off with shit you say. You can't get advertisers if you curse too much, which clearly is my problem. <laughs> you know, um, there's there's so much shit in the business side of it that sucks. You know, I'll get I'm getting there or whatever. I might as well just cave in eventually because mm-hmm. I don't want to work for a living. I'd like to do this. Yeah. Um, this is awesome. Yeah. But uh, but it's one of those things where it's like I do like the fact that nobody controls anything I say. Yeah. The, the only weird. people that control what I say is Spotify. Um, YouTube is like censors people, but like Spotify, iHeartRadio. Um, SoundCloud, those guys are awesome, man. Yeah. You put whatever you want up there. Um, and that's what I appreciate about I appreciate that. I think yeah. it's like, I don't, want, <laughs> I don't really want the censorship on anything, you know? Yeah. Um, I like that it's, they, they just let me say whatever. I mean, I'm not going to get monetized on YouTube because I curse so much, but who gives a fuck? <laughs> <laughs> but uh, let's see. So, wow, we went off on a tangent there. <laughs> that's how we roll, man. That's how it goes. In. You're already a pro at this. <laughs> um, all right, well, speaking of YouTube, uh, I, I brought this up yesterday. We didn't talk about it a whole lot. I wanted to save your reaction for the show. Uh-huh. That chick that rehomed her kid. Remember we were talking about that? Oh, my God. So, um, yeah, I didn't know what you were talking about at first, but then I saw my fiancé. He um, posted the article on my mom's mm-hmm. uh, Facebook profile. Um, and I was reading the title. I was like, oh, that's, you know, who would do that? Yeah. But then I started thinking about it like my mom – would never <laughs> yeah would never that's my big thing like and... as a mother i feel like you should never um i i have a big problem with it because i was reading the head the the comments whatever and like so brave so whatever but to me she never like if you really loved it like it was your son like yeah. that's my son she was talking about like it's new mom like oh, this new mom lives in whatever I'm like dude, i could never do that no i mean i, <laughs> I don't have kids so i don't know yeah you know i mean whatever but um, I just think it's like that just blows me away. It, uh, it just, the whole, it blows I, me I think away. Well, I do. I should probably tell them what happened, basically. Oh, a yeah. YouTube chick. <laughs> I, I just thought of, I, we're talking about it, and nobody knows what the fuck we're talking about. No, I, <laughs> I want to go in on this. I, I don't. Go ahead. Um, <laughs> YouTube chick that like uh, is one of these people that has a YouTube channel for no reason. Um, she adopted a kid a couple years ago. I I mean I think generally I loosely know the facts, but on Ch- like Chinese kid, yeah, I think he was special needs. She knew she was she knew he was special needs. I assume she knew he was Chinese. Um, <laughs> I don't know I don't know what the problem was with that. But, um, <laughs> but uh, so she adopts this kid. Posts I was always posting. I wouldn't trade him in for the world. I wouldn't you know he's my best. I I can't imagine spending any time apart from me. Whatever. And then now they're saying, oh, he's two special needs. We're not going to take care of him. Mm-hmm. And my problem with it is just that it seems like so many people online are supporting her, her d- doing that. I, I just think, like, if it was your biological kid and you said, yeah, uh, yeah, Billy's two special needs. So we're going to rehome him. Rehome, he's not a dog. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's not like, oh, I'm not home enough to let him out of his cage. So, you know, I leave him. I'm at work for nine hours a day. That's not, it's a person. Yeah. It's a, that's a human being. That needs help that you knew what you were getting into mm-hmm. and yeah my thing it, it hits home because my mom took care of special needs kids all of her life mm-hmm. um and she worked in penhurst she was a bus driver for special needs and i mean let's talk about penhurst um when <laughs> you know that's where <laughs> they basically you know don't want to take care of people anymore and um, leave them there. It's insane. That and, place was out of control. And yeah. she, she loves working. She, the way she interacts with special needs, it's like a, it's like a gift. Um, like, oh, she's tough though. Yeah, she. I've she's seen tough. her. <laughs> she's tough. You always think, you always think it's gonna be like, huh? No, it's it's a hard line. Yeah, <laughs> it's it's wrong, wrong. And you know, it's about saying no every 
you know, a million times because yeah. they're not going to get it right off the bat. Yeah. And it's just the constant, no, no, no. And just, you just keep going. Yeah. And so it's just like seeing things like that, like when a mother just wants to rehome because, you know, these special needs, he just needs more care. And, um, you know, that's why I look up to my mom so much because I feel like she's a hero. She's worked mm-hmm. with special kids all of her life. And well, I mean, you even break down the, the situations of, I don't know, how many kids did she adopt altogether? Altogether, um, one, two, three, four, four, five, including five. me. So, so <laughs> that's five people that were in bad situations mm-hmm. that she pulled out of a bad situation. That's the whole, the whole point of it is that she didn't give up. She didn't send you away. She said, oh, okay, you know, problems are going to arise, mm-hmm. but we'll be okay. We'll relax. Uh, and she she just saved five lives. You know? Yeah. You know, where would you you have been or anybody else have been if, if she wasn't there to exactly. you know to help? Yeah. So that that was my only problem with it, and it just blew my mind because I was like, where does the public stand on this? Because well, if they're praising her, that's just like... I didn't see one bad comment. Uh, I I know you can remove comments. Yeah. But like she had thousands of comments on there, and they were all just like, "You're so brave." But I'm just it just it's crazy to me. It just blows my mind. I think like as a being a parent. Yeah. I mean, I'm not a parent. Mm-hmm. So I can't, I, maybe I can't explain, but I f- just don't think that I could do that, you know? And it's the cop-out of having it because she adopted it, she can get rid of it. That's, that is to me, yeah. like, there already is a problem. I had friends, like, growing up that were adopted kids and whatever, and it's, they, are, they already feel like they're being traded. <laughs> you know, they already feel like they're yeah. being passed around. Um like, how, how do you do that? That's, that's, that blows my mind. Where it automatically invalidates adopted children. Mm-hmm. You know? So, uh, my whole thing, I wanted to call her out. I just wanted to call her out because that blew my mind that everybody was so cool with it. So yeah. I was like, <laughs> what's going on? Yeah. <laughs> I was like, what is happening? It, just, it, it definitely hits hits home. Yeah. Because, like, I, I, even I've been around it too. Mm-hmm. So it's like. And you really, I thought, like, when I saw that, I was like, it's perfect that you're coming on the show this week because I could talk to you know like Dan's on the show all the time or mm-hmm. I have other friends but you have experience you you understand you're around the, you've been yeah. around it um, so I don't want to talk about it. and thank you for talking about it too because yeah. it's, you know, it's yeah. hard stuff to talk about it, it should be talked about I mean yeah. I, I, I want to talk about it because if people are praising her then that you know yeah <laughs> yeah and but, but it's also a disconnect it's just such a disconnect from reality yeah like where they she's so untouchable because mm-hmm. she's so much better than everybody else. Do you know what I mean? It's like one of those where it's like, she can do no wrong. She, think, you know, that, and that stuff is just, that's what I hate about like these, some of these YouTube people. But yeah. <laughs> some of these I mean, you personalities. Should, like there's, there's seriously like a, a blind curtain um, when it comes to adoption. I mean, yeah, we, my mom adopted, you know, five kids, but it wasn't just, you know, I'm, I want this one, that one, that one. No, it was no. hard. We've um, fostered so many kids, yeah. and they've been taken away from us. I have um, personal well, experience. Yeah. I've been taken away multiple times. Mm-hmm. Um, there's baby pictures, and I'm like, oh, I look so cute. And then my mom's like, oh, that was when you know you're being taken away from me, and I had to pack your lunch <sighs> and send you back to a home yeah. that wasn't you know fitting for you. Well, I even had um, some friends that I grew up with. Um, all like another family mm-hmm. adopting just a ton of fucking kids yeah. um so it's these two old white people with like a bunch of black kids running around but um, <laughs> but uh so i remember one of the kids um eric he's you know a friend of mine like we were all you know we all grew up in town together and yeah. we were buddies um kid gets taken away he's, he's behavioral problems mm-hmm. not his adopted not even adopted his foster parents fault why is that their fault they're great i know them you know they're great people they just get fucked because it's he has behavioral problems, so it must be your fault. And it's yeah. like, no, let us hold on to him. We'll work through it. Let us work through it. And that whole system, it seems like a broken system. But then I do appreciate the due diligence of like not just giving a kid to anybody. But then it, yeah. sometimes it goes too far. So it's like, what's that? Yeah, the happy medium medium there. I don't. I don't know. I yeah. mean, it's worlds that I'm not involved in. Yeah, um, but and it's something where I, I will I make an opinion on it because I just go it doesn't feel right. Yeah. <laughs> it just doesn't <laughs> feel like that's what you're supposed to be doing. And I didn't really use the show for like a platform mm-hmm. to talk about stuff. That was something that pissed me off yeah. when I saw it. I, like I just want to know who allowed her to rehome. Like who do you talk this? to about that? That's what I blo- did. She call and she's like, um, hey, I have a receipt. Um, yeah. <laughs> like, uh, what's the return policy? Yeah, uh, I'm like, looking at the I, accuracy. Yeah, like, can I change? Uh, <laughs> it's like, like, how 
Store credit? Okay. The, the okay. system should get involved in that as well as much as they are involved with, you know, a normal adoption. Mm -hmm. um, and it took at least, it for me, it took seven years for me to be adopted. And it should not have been. That. Yeah. It should not have been that long. I was taken from the state immediately mm -hmm. when I was born. And then at the age of seven, I was officially adopted. It shouldn't have taken that no. long. No. Um, because Especially if you find the person that's going to that it's going to be, you know, like, mm -hmm. okay, that's it. That's the parent. Yeah. That's it. Okay. I mean, seven years. Mm -hmm. it's, yeah. Dude, that's, that's like a president could get elected and then reelected. And yeah. <laughs> that whole term. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. So wow. it's, it's just, um, it, like the state should get involved in what that lady was doing. I'm sorry, but that's... Yeah. <laughs> All right. I mean, yeah, I just wanted to bring that up, and I thought you were the perfect guy to talk to about it, because, I, cause me, you know, me, I can make my opinion. I, I use it, I rant all the time on here, and mm -hmm. it, it seems so baseless sometimes. No, because like, I'm mean, like, what the fuck is up? <laughs> on yachts. Fucking, oh, you're on your yacht with your boat with all your chicks? I've never been on a yacht. It's fucking awesome. <laughs> like, you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> it's like, on yacht, you um, know, but... Let's see. Um, what do I want to talk about? Oh, I want to talk about your TikTok. Oh, so I know, I know. Because, um, well, there was one thing I did want to say with TikTok is uh, this guy I work with. Mm -hmm. I can't, he, he he drives me crazy sometimes or whatever. But he was saying, "Hey man, have you ever heard of TikTok?" He's always way behind. Mm -hmm. This stuff was going way a while ago. But he goes, "You ever heard of TikTok?" I'm like, "Yeah, yeah, it's that thing that all those." Uh, he's like thirty five, whatever. I'm like, all those like pedophiles have been going on. He's <laughs> one of those paranoid. He's one of those paranoid guys. Like, what? I don't. Um, uh, uh, what do you mean what pedophiles? Do you mean? They go, yeah, it's like we're like 13 year old girls and like 40 year old men. You know? like It's, it's, it's all good. And then I go, wait, do you have one? Just to like, probably he's like, uh, no. And he goes on and he starts deleting me. <laughs> I'm, I'm watching him delete it. But um, TikTok, I, I don't personally, I don't use it. Yeah. I don't really like it. Yeah. I'll be honest. I, at first, I was the same way. I was like, uh. So you were saying I could get into it. It's not for everyone. I mean, you're watching a bunch of videos and there's there's stuff on there that's like, this was stupid. There's mm -hmm. stuff on there that I was like, wow, that was really funny. Mm -hmm. Whatever your interest is, like say you're interested in like, you know, you know your podcast mm -hmm. and, um, or say you're in, if you're someone that's interested in cars or you have like a niche or it's photography. Like, it's like Vine. It's basically a Vine, but you can record more <laughs> and okay. you can do more and you can um, get discovered more. Um, like within a month, I got a thousand followers, Damn. Um, and one of my videos got like twenty three thousand views. Now, are you doing original stuff or are you copying stuff? I, I'm, I'm not original. So <laughs> I think I'm, I'm copying, especially during quarantine. Like it, this coronavirus killed my creativity. So, um, so you just look up other people's stuff. Yeah, and like, yeah. and I try to make it my own. Like, um, a lot of my stuff on there is like my cats and. You know my fiance and then there's some of me like doing like lip singing or whatever okay. and dance challenges but like it's all in fun um but then there's some people in there that are like making it a career and i'm just like you you got a career off yeah of um I don't know how do you, you how would you make money off of that um being sponsored um like i i know um, a lot of clothing companies are trying to get on there now because you, oh yeah i can see that so yeah, i check in your clothes and everyone wants to wear it then I you know some of the like some of the people that are famous on there they mm -hmm. they get like two million views and you're like that was it that's all they that's all they did yeah and then we're dance. and we're sitting here <laughs> yeah. we're creating something we're creating something and doing something we yeah. should have the two point three million yeah. views you know so I felt like, like that a lot before with this I mean I like I only get angry when I see it like mm -hmm. when I see the um, podcast in like it'll be like some dude in Brooklyn talking about fucking nothing stupidity yeah. just stupid shit um and he's got you know he's making a lot of money off of it whatever that's fine i know my content will eventually work its way out oh, yeah but definitely. it's like some of these episodes i've gone back and listened to they're so angry <laughs> like me I, dan gets me going or like harrison another guy i had on the show got me going and i just start ranting <laughs> like, like an angry person so i mean i'm being cool today yeah. i think nice. um i didn't start ranting about that chick Although I could have, you know, but, um, yeah. <laughs> but, uh, let's see. So, um, what is your TikTok? My, my TikTok? I think I wrote it down. David Emery. David Emery. That's it. E-M-E-R-Y. Yep. 
David Emery. One word. One word. That's it. Yeah, it's it's just for fun, but like it. it just... how, how many views did you get on the most of them? Um, oh gosh, I'm in twenty three. No, two hundred thousand views, and it's what? still it's yeah like two two hundred thousand um, views. Uh, it was a. This is how stupid it is. Okay, like I'm. I, I post videos of me dancing. I'm like, oh my gosh, that was a hard dance. Like, I gotta learn this, and I'm sweating, and I'm like, oh. I post it, n nothing. Nothing, no likes, no views, nothing. This video that's going crazy right now is a video of me just like lifting up my blanket, and it's my cat. What? And that's it. Come on. 200,000. You got to the Chinese market. Yeah. The, the Asian market. <laughs> and it's there's like there's things that hit Asian markets. Yeah. Um, which I've been wanting. You ever hear about? They have comedians that go over there mm -hmm. and whatever, and um, they don't like oh, they won't speak English. So you'll go into a Chinese comedy club mm -hmm. and not know Chinese, and you're just speaking English. Yeah. But when you say the joke, you'll be like, so then, and I'm not even gonna tell a joke. I'm just literally just gonna say the like, cadence of a joke. Yeah. Like, so I went to the store, and I bought some milk. That's all you have to say. They'll laugh. Yeah. They hear the cadence. <laughs> and they just lose their shit. Like, they lose their fucking shit. Um, so that's why I would love to get over there, man. <laughs> I would love it. I'd be having tons of views. Um, <laughs> that's basically what what happened. I, know. I got into some kind of, like, weird algorithm. And the video just, like, you know. That's awesome. It, it, it's it's weird. It's weird. Yeah. Like, I, it's something I can't get into because I like the long game of stuff. Like, I like television and movies. Like, did you see you hear that? Like, I'm gonna say it wrong. I always say shit fucking wrong. Quibi. I'm gonna say it right. Quibi. Is that like a TV? The it's TV. a new streaming thing. Yeah. They're doing like 10 minute movie shows. At what point are we gonna do TV shows that are like 25 seconds long? <laughs> it's like season one out now and it takes 10 minutes to get through. You know? Yeah. I it, it blows my mind. Yeah. Um, like I like the classic shit. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I mean, even like The Office is like, that's still short. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's still short episodes. Yeah. But they did some long ones in there. Um, Let's see. Uh, well, okay, we can talk about this. Um, I was watching. You ever seen To Catch a Predator? No. Oh my god, you never watched To Catch a Predator? No. Oh, dude, it's hilarious. Is it a movie or a show? No, it's a. It's a. It's more of a guy. It's a guy named Chris Hansen. Yeah. He's like on Dateline, NBC, and they they like go online and they find like pedophiles, and they get them to come over to the house, but when they come to meet like a thirteen year old girl, Chris Hansen walks out. <laughs> you never seen this? No. Oh my god, dude. I, got it. I was actually thinking of grabbing sound bites from the show. Uh huh. Like, just grabbing stuff from the show, like little quick sound bites of shit that they say, because it's so funny. Yeah. Because, like, he'll be like, um, like, so, uh, Chris Hansen's, like, talks like such an old. <laughs> yeah. Like, so, did you intend to have sex with her? And he goes, oh, man, my thing just buzzed. Hold on. This thing's driving me crazy. All right, he goes, yeah. So did you intend to have uh, sexual relations with her? He goes, no, man, no, I, I fucking, I wouldn't do that. I would never do that. He goes, all right, well, what did it mean when? And he's shuffling through the papers, and he finally goes, I want to have sex with you. I want to have sex with you so, so long and so good. And he looks at the guy, and the guy's just like, uh, <laughs> the guy's just got his this head. Is real, oh, this is real shit. Like real predators. Well, part like of it to me, part of it to me, I'm glad they get him. But the other part is, it's such entrapment. Like police entrapment, because yeah. they'll they'll be doing texts with like uh, there's like a sixty year old guy on it, and he was like, uh, the, text, the sixty something year old guy texts this seventeen year old. He thinks he's texting a seventeen year old boy, and he goes, "Hey, uh, what are you doing?" And the guy goes, oh, "Nothing, I'm just uh, just about to take a shower." Like you're fucking baiting him. <laughs> it's so it's so fucked up. But then it is funny when like. Uh, he asks blatant questions to these people and they yeah. just have no fucking like, <laughs> like they just lie. Um, there's one guy, he brought pizza. It's like, he'll bring pizza and like a box of like 20 condoms, mm -hmm. um, which is bringing 20 condoms to anything is kind of funny. Yeah. 20, 20 condoms. <laughs> yeah. 20 condoms. <laughs> you don't need that many. Um, so he goes, uh, he brings a pizza box and a bunch of condoms and Chris Hansen's like, well, I think we need to talk about this. He goes, listen, I'm just going to slice pizza. The guy's eating pizza in a sting, and he's hanging out. But I, lo I love that show so much because he'll be like, let's see, I wrote down some, some of the stuff. Um, okay, yeah, so he'll be like, they'll, when they're baiting them and stuff, like they'll be like, the, the guy comes in. Mm -hmm. Okay, so they invite the guy in, and it's like a, a, a cop, like a chick that's a cop that looks like a little girl. 
So she went like bulletproof vest or whatever. She's like, okay, I'm just gonna go. I'm gonna go in my room now. And then like Chris Hansen walks out, and the guy, it, the response of the guy is always fucking hilarious because he just thinks he's like, are you, uh, are you the dad? Like, no, dude, you're fucked. You're gonna yeah. be on Dateline. <laughs> so, dude, you're gonna be on Dateline NBC. But you gotta check that out because that is, I can't believe you've never heard of this before. No, it's called I, To Catch a Predator. It's, it is so fucking funny. Like, like it's funny, but like it's real. It's real. Like you're glad that the guy. Like it's it's disturbing, but it's also very funny because it's like, all right, they got him. Thankfully, yeah. Whatever. Like he's a pervert, but like he'll be like, <laughs> the, you know, uh, like it's just baseless shit. Like he'll talk. He'll te- one of the guys will text a girl. He'll be like, you know, um, we can get married. I know you're like 13 or whatever, but if we get if we get married, then we can do whatever we want. And we don't have to worry about what people think. And I'm like, right. I don't think you can. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you know what you're talking about, dude. I can't believe you've never heard no, of this before. No, I've I've um, seen something similar, like on Facebook. I, oh, saw, that was that, right here. Yeah, that um, where they pretend to be a 15 year old mm-hmm. and they catch people around to beat the shit out of them. <laughs> I'm just like, some of the responses, I'm just like, okay, that guy needs help. <laughs> you know, there is then... there is some of them like where there's a difference between like a guy being a pervert mm-hmm. and then like there's some people that are just like there was like a special needs dude do you remember that one yeah and you're like I don't think he's ever had sex I don't you know what I mean he's, yeah you can just tell he's, he's not never... taken care of he hasn't been he is nobody and he's just online you know yeah. like he definitely has some issues going on mentally so that one and then they like really grill him and you're like I don't think you're fixing that yeah I don't, yeah it's he, when they when they find a dude that's like a woodsy dude and he's at Walmart like yeah it's like I'll meet you by the gun section that one yeah. um, the Walmart one <clears throat> that was in Pottstown and I think that's what like got me into like watching that because like that's that's right that's near us it's near us that's pretty close yeah and um just some of the stuff that they were like saying I'm just like oh my god like Ew. <laughs> like, there's people out there that yeah, are man. around here. Yeah. Well, you know so. what's funny? I, uh, I've i talked about it before. I'm going to talk about this, I think, every show. I think I'm going to get my thing. I talk about Craigslist. Mm-hmm. Maybe I'll do like an ad, a Craigslist ad of the week. Oh, God. Wouldn't that be funny? Yeah. Uh, that would be a good idea. Because I look these things up all the time because I love to see the people on it. Like, it, dude, there's so many other ways to meet people. Like, if you're going to have, like, insane, you know what I mean? If you want to have sex with them. Craigslist is the last place to go, dude. Yeah. You're gonna get killed. Yeah. Like you're going to you're gonna get murdered. There was a um that was the one I saw the other day. Oh man. It'll be like uh, a guy dressed up as a girl, but he's really but he doesn't say that he's like transgender or anything like that. He doesn't give anybody a heads up. He says, I'm a girl. Like I am a girl. And like um, and whatever, but he, he doesn't say that he's trans or anything like that. And it, it's just like, he throws people off. And then there's the, all these acronyms that I don't understand. I had to look them up. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but, um, dude, there's like, there's some stuff in it that's really, really, really funny. Like, um, there's a lady, this one was kind of fucked up. She was in her like kid's room, I think. Cause there was like craft stuff on the table, whatever. Yeah. Tied up and blindfolded. She's like, yeah, just come on in. In her kid's room. In her kid's Shut room. Up. Are you kidding yeah, me? man. She, which I don't know how she tied herself up or took, who took the picture. I hope it wasn't, like, the kid. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, the good news was the angle of the picture was from even level. So it wasn't it wasn't shooting from, you know, like uh, it wasn't like a kid took the picture. Okay. It wasn't Thankfully. Like from, yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> it's like, okay. That would still, be alarming. That'd be very alarming. The whole thing's still alarming. Like you're <laughs> in your kid's room and you're tired. But like, there's there's such funny ones where you just don't know. There's so many codes which I think they're making up mm-hmm. because there's one there's a guy who will say nothing. Nothing about him wanting to be with a guy at all. He just says, hey, I swim in the ocean a lot, and I wanted to um, swim in your pool. I'd love to swim in your pool. It'd be great. And, like, you're like, does he really want to swim in the pool? Because yeah. so many <laughs> of these end up being codes. And then, like, you'll see, like, a guy will write a whole thing, right? Like, hey, I'm just, I, I'm here to cut hair. Like, I love cutting hair. Mm-hmm. Um, I know the coronavirus barbershop is closed. I'll come over, I'll wear a mask. I'll um, cut your hair, whatever you want. Um, and then, like, at the vi- it'll go, like, go down, 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 down call me for blowjobs. And it's like, why well, did not think that this is what was happening? <laughs> so it immediately went from normal to not. I don't think anybody on there is normal. You had me in the first part, I'm not going to lie. Yeah. Then. <laughs> yeah. And then like, um, the other one is, I, I go all over the country doing it now because I got sick of our area. Yeah. So I go to all places where I think people are going to be insane. Not as bad as you thought. The Midwest, they're as wholesome as they look. 
you can't find shit on there, dude. You can find maybe like a dude with like a like a couple weird tattoos, mm-hmm. like kind of Nazi ish tattoos, looking yeah. for a girlfriend. But um, dude, I went to Montreal. That's the one I went to. Uh-huh. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody's regulating that Craigslist, dude. Oh my god. There is like dick pics, giants, <laughs> everything all over that Montreal. I was like scrolling, I'm like, what is going on here? <laughs> I, I thought Craigslist got better with. Well, that. they removed all the man seeking man and all that stuff. Yeah, they removed all that. So now, but I think that was a mistake, because all that that did was they flooded into the community, yeah. which used to just be like, hey, I'm trying to rehome my puppy, and um, you know, I can't be home for him during the day or whatever, or I'm trying to rehome my child. Yeah, um, so he, down at he, the bottom. he has a cage and a ball and everything, <laughs> uh, kid food. You know what I mean? Uh, his all shots, <laughs> um, but but no, it used to be just like they were rehoming like a dog. Yeah. Or like, um, hey, I'm selling in, uh, tires for my car. Now that just got flooded with like all kinds of like sexual stuff, and it's like, dude, you should just kept the the connections. Yeah. <laughs> I love uh, missed connections though. You, oh, man, you never really ventured into Craigslist, have you? No. I, I love it, and Kelsey always says it's weird. She's like, that's so weird. Why do you look at that? It, it's weird at? that it's on there. Yeah. <laughs> she goes, this is why? Weird. She's like, it's weird the amount that you're looking at that. But I'm like, it's so funny. It's so funny. Because in this connection, I'll be like, I saw you at uh, at Starbucks. You're wearing a green hat. We had a connection. And if you want to get dinner sometime, let me know. And it's like, a green hat at Starbucks? First of all, they wear green hats yeah. at Starbucks. But it's like, <laughs> it's, it's like, what are you talking about? And like, they think that they're the person they connected with is weird enough to also go onto Craigslist and yeah. look in the misconnections. For them. I think when I lived in Pottstown, um, my roommates, they were trying to tell me about the mis- like, have you heard of the misconnections mm-hmm. section on Craigslist? And I was like, I, I don't really associate with Craigslist. Because I thought it was just, like, yeah. pure nasty, but no, it turns out actually, you, can't, you can get cool shit on there. You can get yeah. cool shit on there, but, like, my, like... Yeah, it's like <laughs> Craigslist killers and all that stuff, where it's yeah. like, it's, there's no regulation for any of it or anything like that. But um, Craigslist is, like... I, I, it's the wild west it's like the reddit it's like it's almost like a reddit you yeah. know what i mean it's reddit's unregulated this is <laughs> completely i don't know where it comes from or who really runs shit around there i got probably a guy named craig yeah but um let's see where do i want to go 